Hello, Steelers fans. Today we have exclusive news about our star running back, Najee Harris, and we're sure you'll want to stay until the end so you don't miss any details. In May, the Steelers made a decision that surprised many. They did not extend Najee Harris's fifth-year contract option. This means that Harris, who has been a key piece of the team's offense, could become a free agent next March. Many are wondering why the team would make such a decision, especially after Harris's impressive performances in his first three seasons. Mike Tomlin and Omar Khan explained that it was a business decision, something that's not always easy for fans to understand in the world of football. During the organized team activities, OTAs, and minicamp, Harris kept a low profile and avoided speaking to the media. This lack of communication left many fans worried and anxious to know how the running back felt about his future with the team. However, last Saturday, Harris broke his silence during a boxing match between Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal. In an interview with Fanmio, Harris shared his thoughts on the offseason and the team's future. I feel good, man. We did a good job this offseason. Obviously, we signed our two quarterbacks, so we're excited. We believe we'll have a lot of good things this year, Harris said with a smile. These encouraging words will surely reassure many fans who were wondering about the team's morale and focus after the decision not to extend Harris's contract. Despite not having his future with the Steelers secured beyond this season, Najee Harris has shown unwavering commitment. There have been no rumors of strikes or holdouts on his part. Instead, Harris has continued working hard, staying focused on his training and preparation for the upcoming season. This work ethic is not surprising, considering his impressive track record on the field. In 2023, Harris had his best season in terms of yards per carry average, with a notable average of 4.1 yards per carry. He rushed for a total of 1,035 yards on 255 carries and scored 8 touchdowns. Compared to his first two seasons, where he averaged 3.9 and 3.8 yards per carry respectively, the improvement is evident. This consistent growth and exceptional performance have solidified his reputation as one of the most talented and reliable running backs in the league. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin addressed the decision not to extend Harris's contract during the OTAs. Sometimes, it's related to the position and things of that nature. There's a business component to all the decisions we make. There are layers to this, Tomlin explained. I'm not going to try to simplify it because it would be inappropriate. These words reflect the complexity of administrative decisions in the NFL, where financial and strategic factors play a crucial role. So there you have it, Steelers fans. Najee Harris remains focused and ready to give it his all this season, and although his future beyond 2024 is uncertain, his commitment to the team and his work ethic are undeniable. With the addition of new quarterbacks and Harris's intense preparation, there are many reasons to be excited about what this season could bring. Kenny Pickett advises on handling negativity. At the recent Champion Mindset Symposium hosted by All and Athletes, Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Kenny Pickett shared wise words with high school athletes. Pickett, who recently joined the Eagles after his stint with the Pittsburgh Steelers, addressed the topic of facing negativity amid his transition. The world already has enough doubters. There are plenty of people who doubt, Pickett expressed to those present. That's probably the majority of people in the media, fan bases, whatever it may be. But those special people I was talking about earlier, coaches, family members, I think they can change your mindset and try to prove them right and what they believe in you can put your mind in a more positive state. During his introductory press conference with the Eagles, Pickett revealed details about his departure from Pittsburgh, stating he handled the situation correctly. He requested a trade after Russell Wilson was signed, feeling the Steelers were not honest with him in their intentions. I think communication is what it is. It was behind closed doors. I'm sure I handled the situation the right way, commented Pickett. According to reports, Pickett had an excellent start with the Eagles, even said to have outperformed starter Jalen Hurts in organized team activities. Ed Cracks of Eagles Today reported for Sports Illustrated that Pickett looked sharp, sharper than Jalen Hurts, to be honest. 
He added that the Eagles can win games with Pickett if something happens to Hurts. Asked about his experience in Philadelphia, Pickett told NBC Philadelphia 10 last month, It's been great. Obviously, Jalen is an incredibly talented player. He's played in a similar system and we're all learning this new one together. The communication in the quarterback room has been great with the coaches and Kellen Moore. I couldn't ask for a better group, a better staff to work with. Obviously, the talent around this team is pretty special, so it's a great group to be a part of. The Steelers will face the Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field on December 15th. Unless Hurts suffers an injury before or during the game, Pickett will serve as the Eagles' number two quarterback. I'm very excited about the things he can do. I'm excited we have a piece in place there. But his job is to be the backup, support Jalen and help him in any way possible and be ready to play if he needs to play, said Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni at the NFL owners' meetings in March. The Pittsburgh Steelers are at a crucial crossroads heading into the 2024 season, facing the impact of Cam Sutton's eight-game suspension due to a violation of the NFL's conduct policy. This news has shaken the foundations of the team's defensive structure, creating a significant void at the starting cornerback position that must be addressed with effective solutions before the bye week. In response to this situation, the Steelers' coaching staff and management have initiated a thorough process of evaluation and strategic planning. Firstly, they are meticulously examining the internal options available, trusting that a current player can step up competently to fill Sutton's role. However, aware of the NFL's relentless competitiveness, they are also actively exploring the free agent market for veteran talents who can bring immediate experience and capability. Among the names emerging as potential acquisitions, Patrick Peterson stands out, with a career marked by a stellar reputation and proven defensive skills over multiple seasons in the league. Additionally, serious consideration is being given to Shandon Sullivan, another notable free agent recognized for his versatility and solid performance at the cornerback position. In addition to potential signings, the Steelers are actively exploring trade options that could further strengthen their defensive roster. This strategic approach not only aims to effectively fill Sutton's void, but also to ensure the team maintains its competitive level and remains a serious contender in their division. In a broader context, Joe Burrow's recent praise for T.J. Watt, publicly highlighting his ability and leadership on the field, underscores not only the individual quality of Steelers' star players, but also the cohesion and potential of the team as a whole. This external recognition reinforces the team's image as a force to be reckoned with in the NFL, both for their individual talent and their ability to work together towards common goals. Steelers fans and supporters are encouraged to stay tuned for more updates and detailed analysis on the team. Be sure to subscribe to stay informed about any important news as we closely monitor all developments. Stay tuned for the next update, promising to be exciting.